Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I will turn my iPad Pro into a laptop. So basically, you will get have to get something, of course. So I bought this off of Amazon. Um, I've been looking at it for a long time. I haven't actually enjoyed using my um, iPad because I've been so busy. So, um, and school's almost about to start for me, and I want to use my iPad as a backup for my laptop because my laptop, my kid's using it for his own um, online schooling. So, um, Let's see if this is going to work good for me. I'm going to try this out. So I was contemplating whether to get the Apple. Um, I forgot what it's called. Is it like the keyboard, um, magic keyboard or something? But I opted to get this one. This is a lot cheaper. The, the Apple one was like $300, I think, for the 11 inch. But this one is $70. And I got it with a coupon, so it's a real steel. This is what they call the Flexbook Touch um, keyboard case for iPad Pro. I like this better because um, unlike the Magic Keyboard for the iPad from Apple, um, this has different ways to use or it offers different modes for your tablet, your laptop, stand, um, it can do attend you can share which is like this and it also protects I guess and um, unlike the Apple um, magic keyboard it just looks like this like it doesn't even have this it just it's just basically a, a, a skin that goes like that so I might have to make a separate video because I haven't charged this. I'm not sure if it needs charging, but so this is from type case Six modes one device. So that's how it looks like. I also like that. It's got RGB backlight and I'm not gonna use that Okay, so it's got full access this and that So it comes with this manual. This will be a short video. I'm in a rush. Gosh. Okay. How do you do this? Okay. Looks pretty nice and sturdy by far. It's a little bit on the heavy side. But I like that it's not bulky. And I saw someone made a video of them unboxing it and it was like this. It's actually making me a little nervous to open it. Let's see. Okay, so he did have a hard time opening it too. It's charged. Okay, it's, it's a little bit of a push. You have to push it a little bit. Ooh, looks nice. This is the price of a regular keyboard. So, that's it. I'm not sure how it's gonna connect though. That's how it looks like. Feels nice. And I like how it's light. I don't know how it would charge though. Oh, okay. So, I will make reviews based on some of the functionalities later on or maybe i'll just make i'll just combine the videos and i'm gonna remove the case on my ipad and put this one in there so let's see i also got a different like a mat thingy for my iPad so it's easier to draw oh I hope it doesn't scratch the iPad let's see it's 
Seems like it doesn't fit. <laughs> Wait, what? Doesn't fit? Hmm. Oh wow. Am I doing it wrong? Hold on. Let's see. Okay, I feel like there's a magnetic thing in there. Am I doing it wrong? I hope I'm not. Okay, let's see. <laughs> the instructions. The user manual. Okay, installation. So, align the lower edge of the iPad with a keyboard case. It's like a thing, okay. Slightly push the iPad until all of the edges align. Oh, okay. Press the upper corner of the iPad to put it in place. Oh, I almost don't want to put it in. Ow! Okay, so it kind of like, ow. Clip my finger right there. There. Okay, I hope it didn't scratch my iPad. So comparing it to my old thin laptop case or iPad case it's about the same it it barely added any um what do you call that wait any um bulk to it I just have a problem with the edges because it looks like it barely fits like I know um I pushed it in but oh well I don't want to force it so that's the share mode and it's supposed to go like this so you can use your laptop your tablet with it and it should also let you use it as a tablet so all you gotta do is turn it like that which is great because I don't want to not be able to use it as a tablet and my my pencil still sticks to it. That's great too. Okay, I'm just gonna go test it after I charge my tablet. So it also comes with a cable, I just noticed. Let's see. Maybe it will charge my iPad. Let's see. Okay, so I charged my iPad and I have the um what do you call this type case keyboard let's see if it works okay let me take out my pencil you want to check out my keyboard for my ipad pro love look at this this is my ipad pro and i bought a keyboard for it it's pretty neat look So I think that is like yeah, so cool. It is pretty cool. So you can yeah. turn it into a laptop too or a tablet by doing that. Oops. Since school is starting again. Um let's see. And then I'm gonna test the keyboard. I hope it works. It's kind of a struggle too do that okay. um is it pairing up let's see if it's pairing up okay I, I guess i gotta set it up like that i guess that should be unlocked okay let's see this okay settings Bluetooth. Okay, so you have to set it up. Turn on the Bluetooth on your iPad. It connects as a Bluetooth. Okay. And then you gotta choose type case pl flexible. Does it work? It says connected, so I'm gonna try it. Let's go to. Ooh, 
it actually works. Look, look guys. Okay. Um, how do you exit? Mm, escape. Oh, this is the, the, the if you want to go back to the main screen, you press this one. And then, why is it so dark? There. So if you want to go back to the main screen, you press on this one. Basically what I did, I went to the settings. There. And then I activated my Bluetooth and paired it with the flexible. There's also a pair button. Make sure you press on the pair button on the keyboard too. Okay, so I'm trying to set up the... Um, some of the stuff that you can use, like, you know how you, you use like different, um, finger functions, tap modes using your iPad or your MacBook keyboard. I'm going to try and set that up. So basically you go to accessibility, where's my thing? And then you go to find assistive touch. See, cause you don't, you can't use that. You can't use the scroll up using this pad just yet, so you gotta set that up. Accessibility, where's the assistive touch? I can't find the assistive touch, I'll just search it. And then, um, go back to the main screen, let's see the typing. Go to notes. Okay, so type. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm a G. I'm so glad I got this keyboard. Okay, so. Doesn't have the same function as to when, um, like. There. Okay, so yeah. It doesn't have the same function if you, like, use the macbook you just swipe it up and then you'll see some some apps for the most part it's really good okay what else um let's see okay there's no delay there's no delay with the typing i was worried about that Wait, what? Oh, this is backspace. OMG, I'm so glad I got this keyboard. So, there you go. Um, I like how it's got different... Um, you can choose the color, I guess. Light. How do you change the color? Okay, let me get the instructions. So, the instruction is, oh, I guess it has that, huh, let me see, how come it doesn't do that, touchpad, so there's a diff there's a bunch of settings, let me just try and set them up first and see if it works, okay, so I don't know what I did, but I think I'm able to, use this the scroll function what okay it's kind of like it's not perfect though it works but it's not perfect think is the size of my finger um the touchpad is really tiny and my fingers they're not really big but it's really small so i think it's having a hard time to detect that but 
it kind of helps if I do this. Look, it works kind of better, which is funny. I mean, for the most part, that's the problem, but you can just do this. Yeah. This is pretty much useless, I guess. I don't know. It's this one that's um, not useless because you can use it as a pointer like this. But if you want to scroll up and down, just do that. So, there you go. Um, is there a way to set the color up? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The problem with this one too... Oh! I have a problem with this one too. Um, one of the things I don't like about it was that it does that. It bangs my iPad when I close it. I have to like do it really slow. And I don't want to bang my iPad. So I, I gotta do that. It's, it's this thing. They need to improve on how this is connected. But I guess for now that's the best that they can do because it's like a swivel. Also, um, your iPad and your keyboard has a different port. So if you want to charge your, your, your keyboard, you have to charge it separately. The iPad charges over here. Other than that, I think it's good. Um, hmm. Let's try that one more time. There. So make sure your... Um, screen is not locked over here so that automatically does that it's still not doing the there so let's see if this will unlock it okay it actually will use that it's pretty good so far I kind of like it so the light I think there the, this button the light button controls how bright it is this is the one that changes the color and i kind of like the ooh, i like this one green yellow i don't know how many colors it's got but blue looks nice this one that oh i wish i can go back there okay, so there's a, br a bunch of colors in here yeah i think i like this color Yep, there you go. All I gotta do is just put some stickers on it. Oh my gosh, yes, that's really a problem. And it should be good. You guys have any questions, any suggestions? Oh yeah, there's the on and off button. So there's the on and off button. This is, this is how the ports look like. It's not perfect, just so you guys know. I mean, for 65, $69, it can't be that. If you guys have any questions, just post it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!